job as a sailor is uh, just being able to be on the water every day and, and working with high-level athletes uh, you know, in competition, so that's, uh, that's really the best part. Well, I think it's always a challenge, the amount of travel we do, um, to, to sort of keep our skills sharp at, at a high level, um, especially as sailing has become so international. Here we are in, in China today. And, uh, you know, we'll be in Europe uh, next week in a different event. Um, so maintaining family life and uh, professional life is, is pretty challenging. No, I, I like to just pretty much keep it the same. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I, I like to uh, be able to adapt to anything, so I'm not, uh, I'm not too stuck on one uh, ritual or another. You know, a great, uh, great friend and a sailing photographer who passed away, Glenn Vigures from Santa Cruz. Uh, as I was, he watched me growing up sailing and and helped me a little bit in Olympic sailing. And you know, he was just, uh, I guess, as a photographer in, in the sport, he, he got to uh, witness a lot of it and see uh, see the great athletes and the great sailors um, at their best, and uh, you know, see when people really made mistakes and and uh, what they did, um, you know, to, to sort of mess up or lose uh, but you know Glenn just said uh, just focus on on the word balance and whether it's balance on the boat and your own um, just you know keeping smooth in your sailing but more I think he meant by, by balance is balance in your uh, in your approach um, and, uh, and just keeping it steady and that's sort of what I like to achieve is it's sort of his philosophy on keeping it steady. I grew up with surfing, and uh, and some of my uh, good schoolmates are professional surfers, and uh, you know now they're they're probably too old to be competitive, but they still get to travel with their sponsors, filming uh, surf movies to beautiful parts in the world, and, and it's a lot like sailing. You get to you get to be on the water, and uh, I think surfing's where I'd be if I wasn't sailing. Well, that's a that's a that's a tough question. Um, you know, I and just enjoy watching all the, uh, the every four years the Olympics, and whether it's sailing or uh, or skiing or basketball, but to be able to watch the medal match in any sport um, to me is uh, is fantastic because you just see you get to see athletes under pressure, and they're uh, putting a lifetimes of, of work in a, into one moment. And, um, I don't think there's one particular one. But uh, but that's probably it, right there where it's it's down to the last uh, minutes of your career, really. I'm enjoying uh, uh, some Irish music, Mumford & Sons, right now. Um, You know, I always, again, uh, I feel like like my lifestyle, my music's pretty diverse. So I have, uh, you know, anything from uh, a little Snoop Dogg in there to, uh, to... Bob Marley, and uh, you know, it goes throughout the spectrum. That's a that's a damn good question. Uh, I'd say probably Robin Williams. You know, I want to think that uh, that I make people smile and, and laugh, and uh, you know, there's, there's a few uh, great comedians out there, but Robin Williams can uh, show up and really uh, make people smile. I'd say my uh, my favorite sailboat growing up, which was uh, called a Jester dinghy, and that's where I really learned how to sail, and it's a small little boat. I put that in the time capsule. Um, my uh, Probably my favorite surfboard in, uh, throughout school, and I had one board in particular that I, that I loved, and uh, that was my go-to board. And uh, probably put my wedding ring in there, because uh, the second half of my life has been... Uh, Really, I've shared it with uh, my wife, Krista, and that's probably the biggest three things in my life. <laughs>